One man was in dire need of a kidney transplant. Then out of the darkness, a fellow stormtrooper came to his rescue. And now one selfless act by a new friend has them forever connected. Join us right now from Cleveland is the recipient of a brand new kidney, Jeff Romanoff. Good morning to you, Jeff. Good morning, Steve. How are you? I'm doing fine. And the reason we've got the stormtroopers and Darth Vader here in the studio, the fact that your brother got word out to a Star Trek, or rather a Star Wars fan club, Vader's Fist 101st, that you, uh, your right kidney was lost, your left one was failing, and you needed a transplant to save your life, right? Yes, I did. And so what happened? Uh, we, well, we had, we had trooped at the uh, Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. We uh, kicked off for Lucasfilm, the uh, Science Meets Imagination. And we invited stormtroopers and costumers with our group, uh, the 501st Legion, right. from all over the uh, region to join us there and to kick this big event off. Sure. And I had, I had met Eric there, and um, Eric found out about my, my story, what my situation was, and right. just said, hey, I'd like to be tested. Sure. And now, lo and behold, uh, through a miracle, I mean, he, he, he was a match. And, and Eric Seaman actually uh, joins us live in the studio right now. Eric, you're the guy who gave up your kidney to that guy who you had simply met through the Star Wars Club, right? Right. Why'd you do it? Just, you never know when your time is going to stop in this world, and I figured it'd step up. You know, you don't just walk past somebody that's laying on the ground in pain. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to try to stop and help them, and that's what I felt I should do. But usually with kidney transplants, you know, because it is a grueling procedure, and although it happened on April 3rd, both of you guys look terrific. Uh, usually it would only be, I would give a, ki a kidney to a family member or a very close friend, but you didn't really know him that well. Yeah, well, I'm not the first person in my family to uh, donate a kidney. My older brother, uh, who I haven't heard from in a few years, donated a kidney to my sister-in-law's cousin about 10 or 11 years ago. Well, it's a, a remarkable act of and selflessness. I've also had the opportunity to see things from both sides of the fence. Um, about two and a half years ago, my mother was in a car accident mm -hmm. and was diagnosed with leukemia. So I've had the opportunity to see it from the side sure. of waiting and hoping, is there somebody that's going to step up and make a match? Uh, and to see it, what is it like sure. to be a donor? But I've always been a registered organ donor. That's, that's fantastic. And you have saved the life of Jeff Romanoff who is uh, with us right now from, uh, from Cleveland. Uh, they, you had the procedure done at the, the Cleveland Clinic. Jeff, what do you want to say to this guy who gave his kidney to you? Words can never um, express my gratitude. Uh, it almost seems trite. Uh, Eric saved my life. He's, he's my hero. And it's my job now to be worthy of his sacrifice and his gift to me. Uh, I mean, I'm grateful. Uh, my, right. my family, my son, sure. Nicholas, my wife, Jane, have been very, very supportive. Sure, um, exactly. And also uh, the Lower Marion Township Police Department with uh, Superintendent sure. Mike McGrath and right. Lieutenant Doherty. Well, They've uh, been great, but Jeff, Eric's my hero. He is your hero. He is our hero as well. And gentlemen, we thank you both for joining us live. A great story. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Eric, and thank you. Fishing pole, it's been a while.